called Hurricane Katrina. And what was cool about it is our essential question for our first two stories all came back to, in what ways can you help your community? started snowballing and I tell my kids that all the time that everything is a building effect you know one thing that we take can build on to something else or one I wonder question can lead into another I wonder question Marlon Miller was a sculptor and he thought wow I really feel I really feel bad for all the animals that died and so he decided to um, carve animals out of wood that died in Hurricane Katrina. what was planned for that day and I went with where they were taking me. And Mrs. Bogotch came in because she knew we were doing hurricanes and she gave us a book about sculptures and then we decided to do the same thing because we thought it would be nice to do it like like um, how they they did it for the animals. We made a Hurricane Katrina book, and um, so what I did was like I just found facts on the internet and found pictures, and I put it down. That's how I pulled in the science aspect, and we looked at how is a hurricane formed, and we took and made it into our shower curtain here that I had them zero in on some specific questions that they were asking for some I wonder ones that we started out with. Um, they also created posters from Hurricane Katrina. They were super intrigued with, um, you know, the loss of life and animals and people and what happened. We looked at what was it like from you know 11 years ago now? How has it changed? How have they rebuilt? We've also looked at the cause and effect that we've brought in. So I've tried to pull in other skills that they don't even realize that we're doing. 